In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make sea foam, and I'm going to be using two different white gels. The first one is going to be Jalaze's UV White Gel Polish. It's just a white gel polish that's in uh, the little pot here, and you can buy these on eBay, and it can be used for art, um, you know, painting your nails, whatever. It's just a little bit thicker of consistency. Some cuticle oil. Using the waxy backs that the nail forms come on. You can just use wax paper. That'll do the same thing. Our cuticle oil and we're just going to brush some of it on the form. And what this does I find is that it helps the gel to separate faster. What we're going to be starting with is the gel white polish which mine is from Jalais. Any brand will work. Um, I think maybe if you have a thicker brand, it might work better for the gel polish. See, it's already separating and no two sea foams will be alike. Some will have big holes, some will have little holes. Make sure that you get enough gel polish on there so that it is uh, thick enough for you. I cure this in my UV lamp for two minutes is a recommended time, but you know what? I over cure it. And the reason I like to over cure it is because then I don't have to wipe it. But sometimes no matter um, on the polish, you know, the gel polish, it just, you do have to wipe it and you have to be careful because it kind of, you know, gets a little soft. So, all right, I do the same thing with the white gel that's in the pot. I'm applying my cuticle oil now. I like the gel in the pot better because it's a thicker consistency. It makes a nicer uh, sea foam and it's a stronger sea foam too when you go to cut it and it's just, it has some body to it. That's why I like the gel that's in the pot to use. And just go ahead and add it. You can see it starts to separate already. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this in my lamp. When you clean the tacky layer off of your sea foam, you wanna do it gently, especially if it is the nail polish, the gel polish. It has a tendency to become a little bit soft and fragile, so you just wanna be careful. All of this sea foam that we made can be stored in a plastic bag for use later. Now, I do wanna point out that the sea foam that I made out of the gel polish is much more fragile than what I made out of the pot of gel here. It's just that it's a little bit of a different gel. The polish, the UV gel polish, is um, it's just a, a way softer gel, I would say, and it's, you know, not as um, thick but I think it works much better for sea foam. Um, like I said, this is the one made from Jalais. Now, there, maybe it's just Jalais that is kind of fragile. You know, maybe another brand won't be so fragile. These pieces right here are what I made out of the pot, and you can see it's, it's a lot uh, more flexible. Uh, thicker. What I like about the gel in the pot too is if you cure it for five minutes you won't have to wipe off the tacky layer. It will be gone. Another good thing to know here too about the sea foam is that when you put it on the nail you can put it in the wet gel. Just lay it in the wet gel and cure it that way or you can paint your nails uh, with gel polish and cure it and wipe the tacky layer off and then glue the sea foam on and I'm sure you can probably encapsulate it in acrylic and I know that it can be encapsulated in gel because I used it in these nails here. 